Uh, hey, YouTube viewers, we are here today on the North Lubeck Road in Lubeck. I'm here with the best agent in the area, Debbie Holmes, and she has got a spectacular Victorian that she's going to give us a tour of today. And the one of the things I noticed when I came into the house and Debbie pointed it out to me, I was like, Debbie, these are eight and a half foot ceilings. And you're like, no, Pete, they're taller than that. Yeah. And um, the house was built as best we can figure out around 1890. And the woodwork is still pristine in here. Um, the ornate corners and the pocket doors, mm. um, the floors are hardwood floors and a combination of hardwood and pine. Um, it is a full three stories. The um, current owners finished off what used to be the attic and has made that into an alternate um, master bedroom. Some additional complete with sleep space. Full bath, yeah. Nice, yeah. nice. This, one of the things that really impressed me, you had pointed out the woodwork, these doors all appear to be solid oak doors. Yeah. And even the pocket doors. Right. I mean, there's some heft to those doors and the, and the brass door knobs, just the, the details, like right. you mentioned, just beautiful. It, it, they don't make houses like this anymore, you know? I'm no. guessing that it might have even been built by a shipbuilder yeah. because that's what they used to do in this area when they didn't have a boat to build. They would build some of these nice old homes and that's where you see the craftsmen's the craft right. work from really nice so now we're in the what used to be the front parlor okay and you can see the beautiful original fireplace um, with tile around it and this room does have the pine um, originally this was the front parlor and the back parlor okay in those days um, You've got the nice big windows with the stained glass on the top and the original, well, I, I don't know how original, but when he was first brought oh. into the house, <laughs> the radiators. we have the uh, steam radiators. Yeah, the, what, the first house I grew up in as a child had those in them. Yeah. No steam radiators. Yeah. So I've noticed, Debbie, from the dining room and from the living room here, we've got some really nice water views. What are we looking at out oh, there? Oh, that is Johnson's Bay which is enters into Cobb's, bigger Cobb's Cook Bay. It is very much um, a recreational bay. Okay. With kayaking and canoeing and of course the fishermen. See some lobster boats? Oh, there's lobster boats. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. And it's a deep water bay. So in the kitchen here, um, it certainly has the character of the, the original house. Yeah, it does. The This is a small galley kitchen, and this would be the eat in the breakfast nook. Okay. And um, you can see the built in refrigerator and the cabinets. Um, the butler pantry is what I really love. Um, it's a little pass through. Oh, yeah. And the other side of it is really ornate. So what he's using as an office now would have originally been the dining room. Gotcha. So if I'm ready for another piece of blueberry pie, I just kind of yell through the, shout through the window and somebody slides it out to That's you. That's right. Perfect. That's right. So one of the things that Debbie that intrigues me about these older homes is what's the foundation, what's the structure of the property? Right. You know? the, in this particular house, I believe there's granite um, slabs for the foundation and the um, hot water heater has been upgraded, the electric has been upgraded. There's still the older boiler down there that is sufficient for summer use um, if someone was going to live here year-round, they might want to look at doing something different there. But the hot water system is more than ample throughout to um, heat this in the winter. So into the foyer here, and, and very impressive woodwork here, Debbie. Yeah, and the newel post with all the carving is just beautiful. Yeah, it is beautiful. Stunning. The uh, stained glass window is original to the house 
And I neglected to talk about the medallions. Oh yeah. On the ceilings yeah. and with the uh, chandeliers hanging off it. And this original door is um, a twin door and it has the initials etched into the beveled glass of one of the original owners. The hall, I think, is eight feet wide and there is a powder room underneath the stairs. So we're here on the second level, Debbie. How many bedrooms do we have up here on the second level? On the second floor, there's four bedrooms and a full bath and a little um, front, I call it a little reading nook that has views of the water. So we're heading into the, what, the front bedroom on the ocean side. Yeah, this is the front bedroom. And we have a little bay area with the windows that look out onto the bay. There is a period door oh, yeah. that is etched. It's, it's a beautiful door with glass in it that leads to the closet. That is a nice touch. Yeah. So the second bedroom here on the, on the driveway side of the house, this is a good size room. It is. And the mirrored door is beveled. And then you have the bay again with the four windows. And I can actually see the ocean again from here? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Very nice. So we've got bedroom number three here. Yeah. And all the bedrooms, these first three bedrooms, all have a closet. Um, another little bump out area with views out onto the property. This is probably the smaller out of all the bedrooms. This is the smallest. Well, maybe the next one, it kind of ties Close. with the next one. Yeah. But still, it looks like the solid oak doors are continuing through the house. It is yeah. all the way through. And, and you can see the nice curve in this room. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm just amazed at how they curved the walls. Just the, the woodwork. So when you say a ship builder, you know, it certainly has those kind of details to it. That's right. So the fourth bedroom, again, it's on the driveway side. Uh, there's a door there, Debbie. This door goes up to the finished third floor, which the current owners use as an alternate master bedroom. And this does not have a closet. It has a, uh, an armoire here for and, the use. And like most of your older vintage homes like this, there's a second staircase. That's right. They used to call that the maid's stairs. The stairs there. <laughs> so here we are, we made it to the third floor. And this is all finished with um, pine, V-notched pine. There is a full bath. So this is an interesting space here, Debbie. I mean, it's, again, we've got views out to the bay. Yes, and these little, I don't know, I call them eye dormers mm -hmm. on the sides, give you little vignettes of seating and beautiful area to sit with nice views of the water. Mm, it is, nice spot. So this is kind of the place to escape to if you have company or loud people you need to get away for a little bit of a break. Right. Sneak upstairs to the third level. Yeah, and the other thing is if somebody wanted to do an Airbnb here and still stay here. This could be the owner's quarters and yep. then the rest of the house with rooms to rent. Good point. Yeah, very good point. So outside here, Debbie, the lot looks very well landscaped. It is. The um, current owners loved the flowers and spent a lot of time planting and rearranging them. The um, property is 17 acres. Nice piece of land. And it goes back up into the woods. 
The previous owner had had trails up through the woods that could be oh, really? brought back. Nice. It's a nice piece of property up back. Um, the roof is fairly new, as is the chimneys have been recently topped. Yeah, and I've seen some apple trees scattered and some lilacs. Yeah. It's a pretty property. And a lot of birch trees. And of course, the Ragosa roses and lupins in the spring. It's really very pretty here. And those red flowers you told me? I believe those are bee bomb. Bee bomb. Yeah. Beautiful. Hey, Debbie, thanks for giving us the tour today. Really, really interesting house. Beautiful place. Thank you. Um, so if you can check out our um, YouTube channel, be sure to like share, ring the bell, and you can contact me at this number right here. And we will have a link to the 3D uh, tour as well, so feel free to check that out. So we are here on the shorefront in Lubeck. And tell me a little bit about this area, Debbie. This is the um, Fisherman's Commercial Pier, well, they, where they um, will offload their catch and um, over there is the boat tours. Oh, cool. So there's, there's three different piers. This is a private pier to our left. And um, we're, the town is currently in the process of um, doing a safe harbor grant to move the commercial piers to a safer harbor because this is all open. Okay. And we've lost a number of fishermen over the years. So um, they're, they're working on, it's a five year plan, I believe it is. So tell me what we're looking at behind us here, Debbie. Behind us is Campobello Island, New Brunswick, Canada. Lubeck shares an international bridge with Canada. The um, Roosevelt's Retreat is an international park, the only international park that I'm aware of. Um, because of COVID, we can't go over there, but it's usually just a quick trip across the bridge yeah. to beaches and the Roosevelt home. Beautiful, beautiful island. I, the Franklin Delano Roosevelt spent, I think, like 50 some odd summer vacations there. Yeah. It's a lot of history. His his doctor, when he was stricken with polio, was actually at Dr. McBride in Lubeck. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. Really neat. Beautiful spot, Debbie. 